working with the control. A simple padlock at room temperature versus a hammer and crowbar combination. Okay, control padlock. Three, two, one. Seconds. That's the reference point. Now, to find out what difference soaking the lock in liquid nitrogen will make. So we're on to test two, which is the liquid nitrogen part of this test. We're going to pour liquid nitrogen directly on the lock and let it soak for a few minutes so it gets good and frozen, and then Tori's going to give it the same bash that he gave the control lock. Okay, hose is off. Personally, I'm hoping for some sort of cartoon-like shatter here. In three, two, one. <laughs> with the liquid nitrogen. That is Great. cool. <laughs> so it's looking good for the myth. But considering the padlock was so easy to break, even without the LN2, the team wants a tougher challenge. All right, if anybody needs me, I'll be in my office. For that, they want a deadbolt. And as before, Tori is first going to smash through for a control comparison. This always reminds me of elementary school. School of hard knocks. So I broke through the deadbolt using the pick and the sledgehammer. Tick tock, buddy. Cops are on their way. But it took me five and a half minutes. It was very hard. It was very loud. There you go. I'm pretty sure somebody would have called the cops. Go, go, go. Yay. Okay. Five minutes and 37 seconds. Five minutes and 37 seconds for the control. Now let's soak it in liquid nitrogen and see if we can blast through that lock faster. With a full four minutes exposure to liquid nitrogen's mind-boggling minus 321 degrees Fahrenheit, the lock is ready for our not-so-subtle burglar. In three, two, one. Why is liquid nitrogen making it easier to break these locks? Well, all metal has a ductility to it, which means if I smash this lock with a hammer, it's going to deform the metal. Whereas if I introduce the liquid nitrogen to the lock, we are going to lower the temperature, causing all the particles that are in constant motion to slow down, removing energy, making it brittle, so that if I now smash it with a hammer, it's actually going to shatter. That is incredible. What's One the time? minute, four seconds. That is way less than half your time. One shot and the lock shattered. This myth is totally confirmed. I know, and I just can't believe how big of a difference it made using the liquid nitrogen. Wait, did we just give our audience a guide to making breaking and entering easier? Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Yeah, okay, that did occur to me, but this is a difficult technique to use. One, you need to carry around a thermally isolated vat of liquid nitrogen. Two, you need a large amount of safety equipment. Three, you need to apply it to the lock for at least five minutes. And four, you need three people to pull it off. Yes, it's successful, but you know what? It's not the most subtle technique out there. Yeah, I agree. It's probably not going to catch on. You know what, though? This myth is still confirmed. Confirmed.